Hi, it's Sonia and welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do like an artist vlog kind of look at some work that I've been doing over the last few days. I'm back in the studio, we just had spring break here where I live. So yeah, I'm just trying to like get back into the flow. Um, for anyone else, I don't know if anyone's like me, but maybe I'm not the best, like a more anxious traveller, slight, slightly stressed traveller. I kind of a bit of an introverted homebody really. So um, it's really nice to be back with, um, yeah, like my sketchbooks. Uh, I did take a few with me, but I didn't take big ones. So for example, this, my uh, abstract sketchbook, it's really nice. I've been working in this a lot. Um, just trying to get back into uh, sort of a, um, a creative workflow here. I just, while I put on to show that, well, to say hi, I can show my face. But also, I'm going to try one of my aims, maybe not necessarily this week, because it's like Thursday here, but definitely in the future, get back to working on canvases again. This is March. I was. Don't fucking bother to like change the camera angle, so I'm just going to bring it up. Uh, it's tight. It's a small canvas. It's like 10 by 10. This is an old one that I go over and over and over, but I'm kind of liking the stage it's at. But I'm showing it now because it probably won't, I probably will paint over it, but it's super textured because there's, yeah, it's just a fun one to have, um, to just keep, when you've got little bits of paint or spare moment, I feel like this sort of a size you can add a bit to, and it like, probably I should take photos and keep the photos to see all the different transitions, because I don't know how many paintings this has been through. But yeah, so I'm gonna turn the camera around now um, and show you some art, things I'm up to, ideas, and yeah, I hope you can draw, paint along um, with me, and yeah, let's get going. Just quickly, I thought I'd show you my sort of desk area um, and the wall above, because I've started, I was a bit hesitant because you were like newly painted walls to stick anything to them, but I'm like, this is, I want to put, I mean, I could wait and get a cork ball or something, but um I've just been using washi tape and masking tape and sticking up. It is nice to stick up, you know, work as you do it and change it over. Um, this stuff keeps coming undone. But um, I did do, this is a recent one. I think, did I share it in my um, Patreon process video? I can't remember, but I just did that. So I was sort of getting back into um, just loose. <laughs> Blue still like this is not a great system. Maybe don't do this. But you know, blue tack. I tried using blue tack in my when I used to work in my younger son's room, and that was a disaster. It's really I can't get it off the wall. So I'm not a huge fan of blue tack. Um, but yeah, so this is, and then I put I got these flowers just because I want to draw more flowers. But um, this is sort of my loose land. Something I've been doing with watercolor. I think I've shown this before, but I really like these watercolors. I need to go find them all and go back and then draw on top of some of them. But some I just want to leave as they are. It's just a good reminder of what you can do with Japanese watercolour. This is a super, I feel like I should go around now. This is a super old um, floral I did years ago and I've trimmed it down actually, but I like that one. This is just a, on, you know you have scraps of paper to remind myself to use them and to do vessel shapes. I can just, if I'm, some of this reminder of things to do when I'm, you know, this is a little tiny, self-portrait using Prismacolor pencil on a scrap of paper, wax resist. I'm playing around with altering, I guess, my own image. Um, I might do a video on drawing people and because I feel like it's it's been an interesting area for me. Another floral still life. Okay, so that's, now I'm gonna go to my, um, oh, I've got a new desk. Uh, clamp thing because my mum broke so hopefully it'll be less uh, what's the word um, as I shake this camera around sh shaky but actually I think I need to stabilize the table more yeah I'm not gonna lie this is gonna be a very um, I don't know hopefully not incoherent but uh, a slightly chaotic video I feel I am oh it definitely takes me time to get back into the flow of, um, of, of oh my gosh that's a hair more of a route getting back into a bit more of a routine i feel like actually i need to make videos a bit more frequently again because just having a week off i prepared a few i scheduled ahead but having a week off i feel a bit rusty 
So I know the way for me to progress at things is to, was it facial fear, exposure therapy, just do it. So I'm gonna get try and get back to um, making videos again. I did a Patreon process yesterday and oh, I hope it was all right for people because it was, if you really wanna like my thought process when I'm doing a uh, loose still life, I felt like, um, I do, I mean, I, this is I guess a very honest, what it's like to make art on the spot because I do end up pondering and I'm not sure half the time what I'm doing or what colour necessarily to put next to each other. Okay, so let's, anyway, in this video, I want to just show where I have been going, even if it has been a little bit chaotic. So this is my Anything Go sketchbook, which I kind of showed from, actually in my travel, because I used it, I did take this one traveling. Um, but since I've been back, I've just been yearning to, because I didn't do any abstracts, I didn't really do anything loose still, you know, very loose for me. You could argue a lot of my travel sketches are actually quite loose. But it was fun just to play about, like here, for example, this looks like a hot mess. But um, it was a chance just to get some marker that was running out, play around with vase shapes. I just doodled some vase shapes, I've just gone on top of it. I'll probably go on top of this page again, but... As I say, it's a cheap journal, so it's one that I'm using just in the studio to put anything in. And then I was wanting to draw, I don't know, I wanted to have a go at butterflies, but in not necessarily in a botan like a not botanical, like in a um illust trying to what's the word draw them. For example, look, here's the book. I don't need personally at the moment, I don't want to draw all the lines and to get bogged down in the detail but it's fun to just have a quick draw play with colors I guess make my own butterflies in a way they're using the trying to adhere to the shape I mean if you want to see the process for this sort of thing let me know it's fun and easy it's something to do in a sketchbook when you're not sure what to do grab a book and then just try and quickly you're sort of are you copying you're copying, but it's not in the, I don't know, in a, necessarily in a realistic drawing trying to improve your skill way, I would say. I've also been, I'm showing this because sometimes it's good to prepare ahead. And this is what the stage before, for example, the, the still life I showed you above my desk. Like I do prepare these papers whenever, um, sometimes when I don't feel like I only have five minutes, like just get some paint out and uh, paint over some, paint over some, um, uh, books and pages. What should I do first? I've got some loose, okay, I have a huge, huge piles. And I have been, I did put some in the recycling bin, but I've been, I've got so much paper, but it is fun. I've got these sheets and what, for example, I, this is cheap, it's 90 pounds, I think, but it's pretty cheap drawing paper. And I've been, this on here, I really like how this has turned out, because it's not watercolour paper. This is Japanese watercolours that I love. And I was just at the end of the session, at the end of painting and sketchbook, just playing around with them. And you've got these sort of things, and this will grow. And in some ways I feel like, I, if I just want to grab a bit of paper, I grab, like a lot of artists nowadays, I feel like I work on com multiples, lots of different things. So I can go with my mood. And that's, you know, that's why I think, I don't know, it could be slightly seen as slightly frenzied, and um, but it works for me. It's what I've, a way of working that I generally enjoy. And it means I can go according to my mood. Like sometimes I'm in the mood for making this into a landscape. Other days I might, so this one I keep coming back to. And before I went away, I think this, I, I hadn't painted the background actually. So I've come in with this sort of taupe, sort of pale, sort of a pinky beige um, and I added a bit more to this vase and lines and it's not finished because I'm going to put something in here but it's sort of just it's just there for me to play with when I feel like it I really before I went away again I don't know oh I had some um what are they called I had some brush pens that were like these ones and they're running out and I was just gonna use them. I thought, well, when they run out, I'm gonna use them as brushes, like reuse them. So sometimes I dip them in water. In fact, I can show, I mean, I'm not, this is in no way how you're meant to use these, but I haven't, I wouldn't get these again personally, but the ink still comes out. So I just put them in water and then some ink comes out. 
and then my little maid um i really like that abstract i mean i don't know if i could do that again like get all these you know the sort of that the blooms and the how the water how it it's really yeah i really like that i think i'll probably stick that in my um I think it'd be quite a good print but i don't really sell abstract prints most of my prints through companies are uh, florals okay this is a funny one i found this is super old i found this in a drawer i had a massive clear out of a drawer and i'd done this you can see there's a pattern underneath i once got into pattern i thought oh maybe i'll get into you know repeat patterns i didn't but i made a lot of sort of patterny backgrounds and then i went over i think i was into drawing portraits like from sketchy so i did a portrait of someone in it it was in black ink and then i don't feel i've had a real recent feeling of not when i'm drawing other these these even if it's people who've given permission it just feels i don't i don't feel connected sometimes to the little drawings if that makes sense so then i'm like well it's my i can go over it so i've gone over it with like some oil pastels i want to sort of get rid of the image now i kind of like that there's an uh, there's another there's an instagram artist that i found is it k oh i don't know his name i can't pronounce he's japanese and he does really like self-portraits in oil pastels and um i probably will mention him in a future video and properly link but the point is he does very uh loose um yeah oil pastel portraits self-portraits even and they're really i really like them really cool so i guess i've been inspired by that but now i've put gesso over the top i got some accidentally clear gesso but i'm using it because if you put clear gesso on i'm wondering i have no idea like technically how this will last or should you do this but i feel now because before if i would had the oil pastel i wonder can i come on top um with some acrylic paint or acrylic wash and then maybe use my image or just make up a face. Just go really left field, like push, I guess, figurative art. This is another bit of paper. That I've got these bits of paper that I've found and I don't know if I'm going to cut them up or go on top. This was yesterday. Do you know, I made a video yesterday, but I think I'm going to delete that. I find it really hard to stick. I feel like I always have to start fresh when I'm like talking. I don't know if it, I'm not be good at that whole filming every day and stitching it together but anyhow this was from yesterday it's on a bit of paper like this is old gouache and i again with the butterflies i sort of just wanted to do butterflies but i thought let's stick it in a vase just play i'm just really getting back to play um which is because i didn't feel yeah i feel like i've had a week away so i'm like really wanting to get into abstraction and loose art again and it takes time for me it you know i guess it maybe for some people i come across like i'm really confident in all this but a lot of the time i'm questioning it all like a lot of you and wondering what on earth i'm doing so um but at the same time it's weird because i do quite like the results of letting myself play i like it i'm not sure if any if other people in my life would but um or you know some family members would be like what is she doing um but yes but it's very therapeutic i like i like the art um and it's good to get back so yeah i've done quite a lot in this sketchbook since i've been back where did it start always as well cutting up some collage i think i shared i did share some of this on patreon as well but i've been also finding old abstract art that i did you know quite a few a, a couple of years ago i was when i really started to experiment and then i've obviously put it away and then this one was one that i then cut up but this is an interesting process let me know if you are still sometimes i'm not sure if my process videos here uh you know like do that well that's why i sort of put them on patreon as a sort of an uh, um but if this is like a uh, um an old abstract cut up reassembled then i added some paint this is gouache on the top then i've added more cut up a different the cut up um abst yeah and i kind of like that so yeah this just playing around with some just having a mark like one marker do i guess if you call it doodling call it drawing whatever it's i love doing this when i need i've only got a few minutes here and there i want to listen to something um i love listening to youtube videos i think like a lot of i feel like it's more long long for i'm feeling much more i do still go on instagram and stuff but 
I definitely feel more drawn to podcasts and videos that I can listen to. That's why you'll have noticed, just to say, look, I know my videos are a lot of talking um, and I don't have music at the moment. I'm not saying I'm not going to change things up and I don't do sort of the silent flip throughs because I guess I'm making sort of videos that I want, would like, which is I kind of like to listen while I need someone talking while I'm making art because I want to uh, uh, learn from them. Like if it's a silent one, and they're just then you have to like really focus on the video watching it and I can't necessarily draw and watch something at the same time if that makes sense I don't know if this is making sense to anyone I'm kind of sharing my um how I work I don't sometimes I like, probably should work in silence as well shouldn't I but weirdly enough I've always been I don't think it was the same but I remember revising for A levels and exams GCSEs and always wanted the radio on in the background or just a little bit of background noise to keep me um yeah but I probably should sometimes it's good to have silence I'm trying to find I haven't done much okay so I did this is a spur which I made with for the patron process um and this at the moment I need to come back to this because I suddenly realized it's a very abstracted landscape and I where is the sketch hold on It's from my travel sketchbook. Where is it? Which I've shared. Okay. No, that's not it. It was from a photo. Okay. Ignore that. It's from a photo because I took a photo from the same hike looking down. The problem is this area here. I mean, the thing is, I don't like how it. I like it, but I don't like how this now looks like some sort of weird starfish. I'm seeing something I don't want to see in it, so I need to come back. And then, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to add some more to it, but I kind of, at the same time, like the looseness and the fact I haven't adhered to the image, and I've brought in my own colours, and I'm really enjoying this this mixed media approach of waxed resist, adding marks. Um, yeah, so I will come back and alter this, I think. I just think I need to extend. Because I just don't want that. It looks like a splayed out starfish. Okay. This, oh, and then one, this, I'm coming towards the end of this. I'm going to wrap this video up. But I've read, in terms of reading as well, I've read this book recently. I try to only share the books that I like. There's a lot of books I don't finish now, or I... I'm not going to obviously talk about those or the ones that I don't enjoy so much, but this was one that I did. Um, it's You Can Make This Place Beautiful, a memoir by Maggie Smith. I think she became uh, went viral for the poem Good Bones, I believe. And I've read her other book, Keep Moving. And yeah, I picked this one up from the library. And I wasn't sure, to be honest with you, I, was like, I know it's, you know, sometimes um, you're never sure if you read someone's second or third books like but it was really I really, it was really good it's about uh, it's not you know um it's about her to oh gosh it sounds really, it's about it's not a ha sounds like it's really good it's a bit of a sad it's, a, it's about her divorce and um her like you know if it's a memoir but I don't know how she writes the thing I like about it the, um sometimes is when you're tired at night it's just, is it because of our attention spans going down? Like, I like how some of the page chapters or sections are super short and it just flows. And she, I just like her writing. And she made me think, and it makes you think a lot. And um, obviously, what she, you know, what she, it's her story. You don't get the other side's perspective, but what she has been through. And also, she she's a writer. So talking about, like, her you know, the, her job as a writer, as an artist, in some senses, was it seen as less, and also being a woman and a mother and sort of, you know, um, division of labour and stuff. Anyway, just a book that I've read that I enjoyed, and, oh gosh, this is so bad, this video, isn't it? If you've stayed this far, <laughs> should I even, should I even just start again? No, I'm going to show this because this is how it is when you sometimes come back from being away and you need to get back into a routine. But I have got some videos planned that will be more um, 
organised. This is my altered book project and I've returned to this. Uh, this has been fun. So it's, I just, oh geez. So yeah, I found a vintage old book for a dollar and um, I'm basically transforming it because I've, on my channel there is a, a previous altered book abstract project and it's a chance to really um, just play around like this page here I've just stuck do you remember that other college the collage I stuck the remnants here and then I'm going to cover up I could just come back to willy-nilly to a page and play and I know a lot of you I know some of you are doing similar things and also I do believe some of you are really enjoying your abstract sketchbook so yeah I know I'm not I think the nice thing about doing this channel is I know I'm not alone on um on all this and yeah there's a lot of us out there who enjoy this way of working and just trying to loosen up, be more playful. So good. All right then. So that's my, it's sort of the, what I've been up to. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you as always for watching, um, watching and yeah, bye.